If you often find yourself looking for your wallet, this actually might be the answer for you. It's the Lorzor Apple AirTag wallet, and that's what we're looking at today. So let's get at it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the specs of this wallet. Then we'll get into what I liked about it and what I didn't, so you could see if it's good for you. So this Lorzor wallet is an aluminum slide AirTag wallet made out of full grain leather and 6063 T5 aluminum. It is RFID blocking, has an ID window pocket, and holds up to 12 cards in its storage. You can also hold up to 15 bills in the pocket. It features an AirTag pocket on the outside, a magnetic enclosure, a free lifetime replacement, and retails for $43.99 on Amazon right now through the link below. Its dimensions are 2.8 inches by 0.9 inches by 4 inches, and it weighs 7 ounces. So guys, first let's get into what I actually liked about the wallet itself. First, the obvious one. You have an AirTag in the wallet itself in this little pocket. They actually give you a little plastic screen protector to put over the AirTag so that that stainless doesn't scratch really easily. But it's really nice to have that AirTag in the wallet so if you misplace your wallet or can't find it, all you have to do is open up your iPhone, go to the Find My app, and you're able to find your wallet, whether it be shoved in a couch or left at a gas station. It's a nice feature that really kind of protects you from misplacing your wallet and searching all day to find it, only to find out it was probably in the drawer it belonged in anyway. So the second thing I liked about this wallet is the mechanism for the cards themselves. It's a simple little pull down on this lever and it pops up seamlessly every single time. Now I know if you saw my previous review of the Groove wallet, I did like this slide mechanism as well, but sometimes I'd find it would get stuck every now and then, where this has been a smooth operation every single time, and it's really easy to just pull the lever down and push them back in. Now, obviously this wallet features more like a conventional wallet style with a trifold. And as you see, you can actually have your ID in the middle, another additional card, and then any bills that you wanna carry in the pocket itself, along with an additional card slot. That makes it so you can fit over 12 cards in this wallet, which provides a lot of storage and kind of a convenient little small package. So you can actually use this in your front pocket or your rear pocket if you want to. And then again, the overall construction on this wallet is really good. I've been using this now for about a month. It's been on a couple of trips with me. It's actually gotten rained on a couple of times on golf courses. The leather is really high quality, still looks brand new. There's been no scratching on the actual unit itself. So overall, the actual build quality of this Lorzor wallet has been incredible. I've really enjoyed walking around with it. It looks really nice when you bring it out of your pocket. And it has kind of a nice, nice classic brown leather look. Now you also have the option of carbon fiber, but for my wallets, I like them to have kind of that classic look to them. And this fits the bill really well. I also like the fact that the branding on this wallet is really minimal. It's only just a little logo down here in the corner. And you really don't see it all that much on the wallet when you bring it out. Some of these wallets these days are coming with really big logos on them and I'm not a real big fan of that. So it's nice to have something that just looks nice and classy when you pull it out of your pocket. And also the magnetic enclosure works pretty well. It doesn't slide around when it's in your pocket, it snaps closed, stays closed so nothing falls out. And it's a nice little feature to this wallet since it is a trifold. So guys, that's what I liked about this wallet. What did I not like about it so much? One, it is rather large for being kind of a minimal slim wallet. If you look at this wallet versus the GrooveMade, it's almost twice as thick, and that's not even including the AirTag bolts that you have up on the top. So if you're someone who's really used to having very minimalistic, very thin wallets, this is what I'd call more of a medium style. You're not getting to Costanza style because it can't actually bulge out with anything in it but you are a little bit thicker on this wallet than you would be with some other minimalistic styles, especially when you consider the bulge for the AirTag. And then the second thing, while I love the mechanism in this wallet for getting the cards out, it's been smooth operating the entire time, you do have a little bit of a jut out from the switch. Where you look at something like the GroveMade, it's actually a slide mechanism, so you don't have a switch on the side. This does stick out just a little bit. I don't notice it all that often, but it is something to note. This is not a perfect rectangle. You do have this little switch that actually juts out from the side of the wallet. And then the third thing, it does have an aluminum construction to it and it is a little bit thicker. So I don't really see this as a rear pocket carry unless you plan on taking your wallet out every time you sit down. It is not going to bend to the curvature of your body when you sit down. I really see this as more of a front pocket wallet only, even though they do advertise it as both. And then lastly, there are some other wallets that do a little bit better job of concealing the AirTag in the wallet itself. This one does stick out pretty far where you do have some of them that kind of embed in a little bit farther. So just be aware, you are going to have this bulge in there even though it is very secure and does not fall out. So guys, what I really see this as is kind of a blend of a minimalistic wallet and a conventional wallet. Since it is a trifold, it holds bills in a more conventional manner. You do have that windowed pocket for your ID and you have a lot more card storage. This is more like a minimalistic wallet that has been condensed down 
a little bit, but not so much as some of the other thinner wallets out there on the market. It's really convenient to have this AirTag if you misplace your wallet. It just makes it a lot more secure and able to find it a lot faster. And it's really convenient if you have an iPhone to be able to find it quickly when you need to. I do really like the amount of card storage it has in it, and I love the mechanism, but just keep in mind it is a little bit larger for a wallet if you are really used to something that's very thin. Also, at this price point, it's about half of what I've paid for a lot of my other wallets, so it's a good price point with great build quality. So guys, I wanna hear what you think. Is this a wallet you can see yourself using? Hit up the comments section below. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed this review. Consider subscribing to Rob Sutton for more videos like this in the future, and until then, on to the next one. Thanks guys, see ya.